but it's great to just spend some time to talk about research. And um, so thank you for the invitation and I very much look forward to the discussion. So I think there are many insights from the social sciences that are directly relevant of how we think about reputation management, the role of communications, how we make decisions, how we anticipate risk, that we are well advised to incorporate or incorporate into our repertoire um, as leaders um, as we're thinking about these types of issues. You also talk about the expert trap, and I had a kind of a personal question there, which as an expert yourself in this area, have you ever felt yourself kind of pulled into this expert trap personally? When you as an expert look at the world, you look at the world in a very peculiar way. You've trained many, many hours to be able to see it in that way, but that's not the way the rest of the world sees it. And I ask myself, you know, how would I explain this to my grandma? Or who would you explain this to a, you know, a 15-year-old? You know, something like in a way that you that you set aside those aspects and discipline yourself to think about it from a lay person's point of view, because that's the typical environment that you're dealing with. And what I particularly love is, you know, the the, the much heralded cooperative culture of this place and the, the the willingness to really engage with each other in conversation and to develop ideas, it's, uh, it's very special. Mm -hmm.